what we want you to embrace first is that your economics and how they flow to you are about the energy that you are flowing outward to others in other words it's what you're offering what you're receiving and what you're offering are the same they are vibrationally equivalent and if you can think in terms of the service that you're offering now we offer that word carefully because you misunderstand it every time someone uses the word but in this conversation that we're having where we've agreed that economics is all about serving one another in other words it's what it all is then as you acknowledge that your contribution what you are offering to this mix is a value to others once you go there now your understanding of economics is in a whole new place that can serve you in a whole new way so now we'll ask you are you there yet do you acknowledge that it is your service to others so now in what ways do you serve you were going to make a short list a little while ago but in what ways do you serve others you serve others by getting energy flowing you serve others by tapping into the stream of infinite intelligence you serve others by tuning in tapping in to the frequency this high power frequency you serve others by understanding the path of least resistance you serve others by being wobble free you serve others by tapping in not just to infinite intelligence but to infinite prosperity to infinite abundance of energy to infinite ideas if you're serving others then isn't it the idea that really is at the basis of most service you see ah oh, when you loosen up these cobwebs and you start acknowledging that you could be in the right place at the right time in more conversations in more opportunities to uplift if you would put your attention upon the energy that you're receiving which then you will be flowing but here's the most interesting thing about economics we already said it to you but we're going to say it to you again you don't get it until you give it because it is the asking for it that summons it so when you get into an attitude of service which is asking for it on the behalf of others now you open a really big portal a really big vortex of abundance you see and that's really the place that you want to start with all of this in what ways can I be of value to others now let's start generally are you of more value to others when you are ornery or happy well that's not a difficult thing to understand and yet it's usually not a question that you ask in relationship to economics is it because you're thinking in terms of your action not in terms of your attitude but your attitude your mood your vibration is everything in terms of what you receive and in terms of what you give you see so if you're thinking in terms of being the portal through which all of this flows do you acknowledge that the world is out there asking do you acknowledge that their life experiences are what are causing them to identify what the next economic booms will be? Do you know that there are economic booms in the vortex right now that haven't even been discovered by those who will feel the inspiration to provide the response to the boom that is being asked for? So does it overwhelm you to think about being the creative genius that is inspired to that? We're not asking all of you to be the next Bill Gates, but why not? We're not asking you to be the next innovator of the next big invention, but why not? But what we are asking you to do is acknowledge that there is infinite energy flowing and enough abundance will flow to serve you in the way that you are wanting to be served. Once you get into this flow of economics, it's all about energy. You see, as much money is coming to you, we're saying money financial abundance is coming to you as you are asking for and allowing but what's interesting as in our earlier conversation you're motivating yourself to the asking rather than inspiring yourself to the asking so it's not a clear open thing that's going on because in the worrying about what you're going to do with it or where it's going to come from you block the flow of it so if you could just concentrate on the fact that the flow exists and on the fact that there is a path of least resistance that is available to you right here and now if you could just acknowledge that you have the ability to get on this path and you have the ability to receive the flow instead of worrying about where it's going to be when it's going to be who's going to bring it where it's going to come from how long it's going to last how big it's going to be when you ask those questions that make you wobble then you don't do either one of those two things you don't hook up to the energy and you don't flow it towards something that is meaningful to you that was a big economic discussion but how does it translate into something that you do something about it doesn't translate into how you do something about it it translates into how you feel about money you got to feel like there's plenty of it out there and there's a lot of it earmarked for you you got to feel that way 
because it is that way. And then you got to figure out how to figure out, got to figure out how you got to figure out, you got to feel your way to it. And it's on the path of least resistance. It's not on the path of hardship. It's not on the path of struggle. It's not on the path of determination or effort. It's not on the path of motivation. It's on the path of inspiration. You got to tune into the path. You see to the path of inspiration. So we have some questions for you. We asked you some earlier. You were quiet about it. We want you to be more bold in your response. Now, <laughs> do you believe in infinite intelligence? Yes. And do you believe in infinite abundance? Yes. And do you believe that you've carved out a path of abundance for yourself? Yes. Do you understand that your vortex holds that path? Yes. Do you believe that the path will be inspired to you? Yes. Do you think you'll get there with worry? No. no. How are you going to get there? How are you going to find the trail? How are you going to find that path? You're going to worry your way to it. You're going to struggle your way to it. You're going to take courses on how to find on what does the world want? Yeah. This graduating class needs to be really good at this because someone has prophesied that there's going to be a lot of that wanted later. Do you want to do that? No. Do you want to do that? No. Well, you better want to do that because that's where all the money's going to be later. So you better figure out how to get good at doing something that you don't want to do because that's where the economy is going. Ah, ah, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? You've lived long enough. None of you were born yesterday. What do you want to do? What do you like to do? Do you believe that you can serve doing something that's fun to do? Do you believe that you can find satisfaction in what you do? Do you believe that you know what some of those things are? Do you believe that they're queued up and in your vortex already? Do you believe that there's a path already laid out for you that you're just reaching for the inspiration to? Yeah. So how do you find that path? This is the question of all questions. How do you find the path? Think about it. How do you find the path? You don't find the path, the path finds you. It's an inspired path. It's not a motivated path. The path will find you, but you got to stay in that general place. You've got to be in that place. You've got to highlight within you what matters to you. I like freedom and I like fun and I like inspiration. I like great ideas and I like being of value and I like the sniffing out the trail and I like following the trail and I like where the trail leads. The path will find you. You've just got to do the wobble free work. You see, the path will find you. There was somebody at the uh, Cancun retreat that said that a brother-in-law that he didn't know existed gave him an enormous amount of money. It just appeared in the universe, something that he had not expected at all. Well, it's like that. It's just yeah. like that. I'm curious if there's like an advanced level. Yeah. You all have huge inheritances. You do huge inheritances. But you got to put yourself in the place of receiving the inheritance. Sometimes the inheritance comes in the form of money deposited right to your account. And you all think, yeah, that's the method I choose. <laughs> but sometimes it comes in the form of an idea. Sometimes it comes in the form of a collective experience with others. And depending upon who you are and what you want, it will satisfy all of those things. You think that you would like a big pile of money to descend on you. And for a while it would be fun because you would do the things that you haven't been doing that you feel that you need the money in order to do, but it would not be a long lasting, satisfying experience because it's not the clump of money that you're reaching for. It's the flow of money. It's not the destination that you're reaching for. It's the reason to go on the journey. And so. When we said the path will find you, the path has already found you. It's just an eternally unfolding path. It will continue to surprise and delight you. You see, you just got to decide that you want to feel good and that you want to have fun. And what matters to you is this, 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 this. 
Esther will say it. What matters to me, Esther says every day, what matters to me is clarity. Because that means alignment. And then she'll say, and fun. Because clarity is fun. Clarity is fun. That's what matters. Fun and clarity. That's all I need. Just fun and clarity. That's all I need. And friends. Just fun and clarity and friends. That's all I need. Fun and clarity and friends. Friends to have fun with and friends to experience clarity with. That's all I need is just fun and clarity and friends and places to go with my friends. <laughs> fun and clarity and friends and places to go with my friends. Fun and clarity and friends and places to go with my friends. And really good food. Fun and clarity and friends and places to go with my friends where there's really good food. That's all I need. And on 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 it goes. Occurred to Esther the other day. She's sitting and writing and journaling and sketching and drawing focus wheels and thrilling herself with clarity and feeling appreciation for that and that and that and that and that. She got such momentum for appreciation going. And then she suddenly began thinking of all the things that had led to all the things that she was feeling appreciation for. And the list just went on and on. She was sort of feeling the background of all of it and realizing that all of that that is now in her background was in the foreground for someone at some time. It was someone's leading edge. Now it's the background for her. Now it's the basis for her where she stands and her leading edge. But everyone has always been looking forward, it occurred to Huth. They've all been looking forward and everything that has been before is all pointed toward where I am now. And suddenly she felt herself at the pinnacle, at the point, at the receiving end of this huge funnel of well-being. Everything that had ever happened before, it felt like it all had happened for the benefit of her standing right here, right now. All of it. Everything everyone had ever thought, everything that everyone had ever wanted, every road that had ever been built, every FedEx truck that would ever gotten on the road to bring her something that she just ordered from Amazon yesterday. In other words, Everything in all of the universe felt as if it existed for this moment in time, for this leading edge beingness, for this culmination of who she is right here, right now. And you know what? She's right. But as she figured that out, now she's standing in a place of worthiness like she has never stood in before. All of this for me, all of these thoughts for me, all of this benefit for me, all of this transportation, all of this economics, all of this industry, all of this technology, all of this for me, all of this for the benefit of what I see here and here and here and here and here. When you stand in that place of appreciation of what is available to you because of all that has come before, but you focus forward, which is the only place that you can focus, you will discover that it is the new idea that is the richness of this promise of creation that you've come for not the accumulation of what others have accomplished but the inspiration of the new idea because it's the hatching of what's new that we all live for you see we are eternal beings and it's that new hatching it's that new hatching that gives you the goosebumps always the new hatching so sometimes it feels to you like you are the receiver of that which is us and we say those goosebumps are us but it's your newfound receiving place of that vibration that makes you feel it the way you do. It's that breaking loose into the new place. Always a new place, always a new place, always a new place, always a new place. More to live, more to love, more to know, more to taste, more to feel, more to see, more to smell, more to hear, more to experience, more to live. That's the abundance that is yours. That's the inheritance that's there for you. And you stand at the point of it. You stand at the point of all of that, ready to receive it. And the question is, are you ready? Are you ready? Do you really love yourself? Have you practiced that? How mad have you been at others? That blocks what flows to you. How allowing are you of others? Because that opens what flows to you. How much do you love life? Because that's what opens to you.